tell you the truth, the food history guy, I would absolutely, like, love to, like, show that to my audience and, like, do a review with that dude. Yeah. Very good stuff. Well, the information is fascinating. Yeah. I like to learn things. I like to learn things. He's a good host. He is a good host. He's awesome. And he's got a cookbook coming out. Mm. Which is really awesome. I want his cookbook because I'm pretty sure that his cookbook will have some like old fashioned recipes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's like the whole cookbook, honey. Yeah. It's a history cookbook, so. I want to make a cookbook. That'd be awesome. That would be Shani's first cookbook. Oh man, my mom's recipe. Shit. What recipe? Recipes. Recipes? I, yeah, I had a binder full of her stuff, and I was going to make a cookbook out of that myself. Oh, joyous. Oh. It's gone. Mm. Everything is gone. Everything in our life is gone. It's gone. We have been decimated by the world. We have faced tribulation. It is kind of freeing, though. Uh, it, yeah. To not have stuff. That that is true. It is freeing to know that you could fit everything that you own in the in in a trunk of a sedan. Yeah, bro. It's very very good. I in my opinion. Right. Yeah. I much rather it this way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I've successfully let go of this shit. I did. And if someday, I don't even think I would spend the money on it nowadays. I would, va I value money too much to spend it on stuff like that anymore. Yeah. This is the truth. I think I'm over, like, I was very much, I love collecting things. I like to collect, like, you know. I do. I like to collect shit. I do. And I'm over it, and I think it's a good thing. It, it's a, it is a good thing for me. It's a very good thing. Yeah. Oh. How's everyone? I see you're popping on. How has your Easter been? Have you had some chocolate? Have you had some jelly beans? Mm. We need some jelly beans in this hizzle. In this fizzle. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, the ones you got are pretty good. Yeah. They're not classic jelly beans. No, I They're couldn't not... find any classic jelly beans. I know. I know. It made me mad. I know. It's like, why can't I get some classic jelly beans? Amen, Stephanie. He has risen, hasn't he? Yeah, thank Jesus. Somebody said it. They want to make fun of Jesus rising from the dead even. They ain't gonna be judging. They ain't, they ain't gonna be <laughs> laughing about that on Judgment Day. No. God will not be mocked. No, he won't. No. That's right. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to Judgment Day, to tell you the truth. I'm gonna be giggling uh, the whole time, like, I told you so. Told you so. Pretty much. Told you so. Mm hmm. <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> Why you not listening to me, yo? Should have listened. And then giggling. <laughs> Let him off. <laughs> and in most cases, he might. He might, man. I would really worry about the soul of the person, though, that says, oh, Jesus is risen, it's now it's time to bake him. I would, I would really, not really... I that. That was gross. Well, I wanted them to know what the, what I was talking about. Yeah. I, I would really worry about their soul. I would. That's pretty rough. You know? Amen, Stephanie. Happy Easter, Reverend Shani. Happy Easter, Peach Punch! Happy Easter. Did I look up EMDR yet? No! I was enjoying my day. Mm -hmm. 
Hear, hear. Having wonderful candy. Mm -hmm. Good fortune. No one's gonna bring it on, Saint Ratty. Which little old lady did you rob this week of her medication? Oh my god, dude. For real? Really? <laughs> For real? Okay, dude. Yeah. Uh, is that the Billy I think it is? What? Mm. Anyway. <laughs> you want to hear about quantum physics? Okay. We'll go to a channel that talks about quantum physics. There's plenty on YouTube. I mean, that's a good thing to want to learn about. So go for it. <laughs> it's the cutting edge of science. You're waiting for the aliens? Dude. They're out there. They are, man. And you know, what was that you said you did on, on some other exoplanet? Oh, I forgot. It's a... Cetra? Is it Cetra something? I can't remember. I think it was Cetra something. It's a weird name. But they have, like, a continuing... Um, what they call an audible uh, uh, signal that they're getting from another planet. Which and is it's, cool. And it's hooked in with the sun, and it's like they think there's a war on the planet. That's what you were saying. Yeah. Sounds like there's a war going on in the planet. That's insane. Yeah, I know. Really cool, actually. It is. I love reading about this stuff. <laughs> like, I'm starting to see it's possible if, because they're starting to really treat alien life as, yeah, we're going to find it. Yeah. And we could really start going towards the Star Trek world. <gasps> like, in real yeah. life. Like, in real life, that might happen. Roddenberry's dream was not a dream, it was a prophecy. If that's the case, you know? Right? His, it was not fiction. He was writing it as fiction, but it was a prophecy, if that happens. That's true. He's a prophet. Or he was just really in tune with what was going to be in the future, and not a prophet. <laughs> you That's know, true. Gene the prophet. <laughs> I mean, he is a prophet in a lot of ways. The stuff that he... That he depicted in Star Trek and it was never depicted before like iPads and shit yeah he like put the idea I guess in people's heads yeah he, I mean brilliant I, that's true really brilliant that's true god what babies I wish I had better fitting clothes we're gonna get you that <laughs> that'll come in time I need to downsize yeah You'd be in just the ones, size one, in for it. <laughs> size one. Beam me up, Scotty. That's right. I was never a Star Trek fan in my life at all, but Shanny's made me a fan. Star Trek is awesome. You have made me a fan. I had I had one friend in high school that well in middle school I wasn't friends with them in high school. In middle school, I had a friend that was a massive Trekkie. And it, but it's all he talked about. And I was like, wow, this kid's weird. Mm -hmm. It's all he talked about. And he crushed on Dax. Like, he was, he had a huge crush on Dax. And he was constantly talking about, like, Dax and Seven and Nine, like, their goddesses and stuff. And, and like, whoa. Like, yeah, this kid's weird. I think it was TNG was on at the time, though. <laughs> so, so Troy, he's like, oh, Troy. Troy is amazing. That was so sweet on Picard. Yeah. That was so sweet of them. Yeah, they're really, it's a nice love story. It really is, because you see it from, like, 1987 to, mm -hmm. like, now. Mm-hmm. They do look at each other like they truly have feelings for each other, which is cool. Right. They really do look at each other like they're a couple that's been together. Well, they've always looked at each other like that. Yeah, though. 
Yeah, they've had a chemistry. That's why they had them yeah. get together, because they did have chemistry. Exactly. And who else would Troy have been with? you got to hook her up with somebody. She's way too hot. You have to have her be with somebody. Who else would she have been with? Freaking Jordy? No. No. I I love Jordy, but I don't see him with Troy ever. Like, he's too sweet to be with Troy. That's true. Troy wants to be with an alpha. Yeah. So who? Picard? No. No. Definitely not Picard. It no. had to be Riker. It had to be Riker. Number one. Number one. Engage. Hi, Sophie. I'm waiting for rich folk to move to Mars so I can move into their old place <laughs> if they aren't coming back. I hope so. There you go. Uh, well, I they probably won't come back. They'll probably, you know, have a really massive accident. God. Because human beings now just are really dumb lately. We have Space Force. We'll they do it space right. out a lot. Tension span is off. I think it's TikTok. Um... <laughs> no, tr Trump's going to be president from jail in 2024, and he's going to make Space Force great again. And we're going to Mars, and we're going to co colonize it in 10 years, because he's amazing. <laughs> yeah, okay. There you go. We're going to make, make Mars great again in 2024. <laughs> he said he wants to put an American flag on Mars. I think it's so dumb going to Mars. It seems like a waste of money. It seems like and a energy and it seems like a death trap. It seems like a destroyed ecosystem that we've already destroyed and we were there already. That's true. When they analyze the planet and the way the soil and everything looks, it looks like a planet that had been raped of it, it's just been destroyed by something. That's true. Human action, but yeah. Us there first, maybe. <laughs> That's possible. How long does it take to get to Mars? They said two late, two and a half years to That's get it. to Mars. Yeah. It's not bad at all. No. Not bad at all. I think it's two and a half years. I mean, two years is a lot. My God, on a. I mean, on a, on a space shuttle for two years. Whoa. You gotta be trained in being okay isolated. True. To do that. That's you gotta be dedicated. Wow, two years of isolation on that level. True. I don't know. Most people couldn't do that, I don't think. <laughs> well, welcome to being a new sub, Nicolina. Hello. What are your streams usually about random stuff? Chit chats. How am I feeling today? Sore. But I'm I'm getting through it. Yeah. Uh <sighs> um. can't ride the space shuttle rev the heat from the sun I... well no i the reason i brought up the space shuttle is because if you're going to go on a two year trip you're going to have some kind of craft that's going there it's not just going to be you're not going to be in a capsule for two years nobody's going to do that Am I right? Yeah. They true. can't. They can't have the capsule form of transportation for the two years. That's nobody would do that. No. So, I I'm thinking of the closest thing that we've had to an airplane in space, and that's the shuttle, right? Officially, that's, true. That's all we got. So that's what I was saying. That even that on a shuttle for two years would be tough. Hmm. For most people. Hmm. Oh. What did Gavin do there? He ran and then he ran back. My phone buggy. Did you find a buggy? 
Because remember, he went, Whoa. He did do that. That's usually when he finds a bug. Yeah. And he, then he takes it out. Yeah, and then he gets sad because he killed the bug. <laughs> and he cries. He cries for the bug. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's so cute, his little meows. Yeah. You're a cute boy, Gavin. We love you, boy. <laughs> I'm so happy. He's happy. like, it's getting dark. It's almost nap time. I know. I want to talk to some folks, Gavin. Yeah, Mommy wanted to talk to people. Gavin. <sighs> Uh, one day at a time, Shanny. I know, man. I know. Sometimes it's just like, mm, people are just pushing your patience. But you know what? I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure you do. You got it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Gavin is hunting watermelon. She's, not, she's aware of it, though. She is. Oh, he's wiggling his butt. He got That's it. That's it. He got her and he's running away. She's like, what the heck? You just stabbed me in my cheek. And she's... She now much. she's looking herself. He insulted her. She's horrified. She's ready. Hi, Sarah. Happy Easter, Kathleen. Gavin, what's Hi, Celeste. What, what's with Gavin? He's sliding around and shit. He's being a kid. Now. I know. Gavin's playing. It's so cute, Smelly. He's being a Kit Kats right now. He's really sweet. I love when he's in Kit Kat mode. Yeah, I know. It doesn't happen too often. No, it's usually watermelon. Yeah. I know. She's like, I know. I'm a sassy ghost. She's ready, though. She's ready for a pounce. Did I fix my computer? In a manner of speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I just have the, like, the, the the ceiling fan on and it seems to be doing a good job. It ain't too bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a moment. Happy Easter, excuse me. Aw, Gavin. He's a good boy. He really is. I have a community post that I posted of Gavin hiding behind a curtain. It's so cute. Yeah. He's sweet. He's a cute boy. He's just love. Right? He's just love. He is. And he hugs you and pulls you in. Your mods are doing a good job, too. Absolutely, Crash Cooter Coot. Thank you for that, sir. Yeah. That's a help, for sure. Ugh. Right? Ugh. Bro. <laughs> Keep trying, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord Jesus, can you please have these people who harass me grow up and realize that they're wasting their life and time. Amen. 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 In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. They had a duck too. Wow, how amazing. In a manner of speaking. <laughs> this is an answer. We love watermelons. <laughs> That's true. It must be satisfying for you, Crash Cooter Coo. <laughs> what are you doing? He's staring at the watermelons. 
Oh my god, I just realized something. What? We have chocolate ice cream. Or and we have the birth <gasps> birthday cake ice cream. You want some? I don't know right now. I I don't want to, like people are like I don't like the smacking noise as a food, and I kind of agree with them, because whenever I watch those eating videos with ASMR, I have to turn the sound off because it grosses me out. Whatever. Okay. So I get that. <laughs> well, I don't know why you brought it up. Because but... <laughs> I'm really craving it right now. <gasps> Is the Ten Commandments on today on ABC? I don't know, maybe. It usually is on Easter, or it used to be anyway. The Ten Commandments? Yeah. Okay. It's Passover. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, watermelon is different. She's a sassy ghost. But she's got a sweet side, too. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. I didn't name her. Her adoption center named her. Where we got her. Yeah. I just kept the name because she, when she was a baby, she looked like a little watermelon seed. Cute. <laughs> it was so cute. Or the robe. Yes, Melly. I love the robe. It's such a good movie. I love old time movies though. Like Christmas time, it has to be. It's a Wonderful Life. This time of year, it's it's the Ten Commandments and the Robe. Like I just love those movies. Yeah. <clears throat> right. That's usually on every year, but is it still? I don't know. Do they still do that? They probably do. That's kind of like a tradition type thing. Did I watch Trisha Paytas' video? No. Why? I have no idea. I haven't been, like, watching her, I guess. <laughs> yes, it is one of the better biblical films. I mean, come on, you got Charles and Heston. Let my people go! I mean, it's it's beautiful. He's all over dramatic and stuff. The music, dun, 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 dun. I mean, it's it's awesome. That's the Green Ranger song. No, no, no. It's part of the song in, in, in yeah, Ten Commandments. I, I know, but you literally just did the Green Ranger. Did dun, I? Dun, 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 dun. But that's in the Ten Commandments. Well, there you go. Maybe that's the same thing. Maybe they did do the same thing for that. Maybe. Did they steal it from the Ten Commandments? Yeah, I think they did, yeah. Because you literally, that is the call to the dragon's word, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Ten Commandments is an awesome movie. Ah, uh, I love it. It's always good. Uh, what's the guy's name that plays Pharaoh? Uh, Jan Brenner. Jan Brenner? Jan Brenner? Um, uh, Brenner, you got the last name Brenner. correct. Absolutely. Yule. Yule Brenner, Brenner Yule. that's right. Yeah. Yule Brenner. He's fucking, um, sorry, he's amazing. Like, he's such a great actor. Ah. Uh, and he looks perfect. Like, he's a pharaoh. He just looks and I love Nefertiti in it. Oh, Moses, yeah. Moses, yeah. Moses. Yeah. <sighs> and she's absolutely dropped dead gorgeous in that movie. Nefertiri. Just Nefertiri. Nefertiti, yeah. yeah. Not Nefertiti. Whatever. Nefertiti is a different character in history, I'm pretty sure. Why do girls jog? I don't understand. And then he's in The Sound of Music, and he's like, et cetera, et cetera. Yul Brenner. The Sound of Music, yeah. I have to see that movie. <laughs> you realize I've never seen that movie all the way through? What? The Sound of Music. Really? Not all the way through, ever. My grandmother used to watch it all the time, but I never see wow. it. Wow. Yeah, never. Not You much. should. It's beautiful. I know. It is a beautiful movie. I, I know, but I've never seen it all the way through. Happy Love Day, Catherine Cruz. Wait. All your favorite parts are when they are in Egypt. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Joshua. They got a great guy to play Joshua. Joshua! Yeah. 
And the, the, the his girl, Joshua's girl, is really Lily? pretty. She's so pretty. Holy shit. Yeah. That whoever she is. I mean, Lily. Her the actress. Is, I mean, the actress. Well, yeah. The actress. She was in, oh, she was in a couple movies. I forgot what they were. But she was in other movies before. I believe, yeah. Yeah. You're pretty. Some good old. You don't think you've seen it all the way through either? Ugh. You know what he's never seen all the way through? Mm. The Wizard of Oz. No. That should be playing this time of year too, The Wizard of Oz. It usually is. Easter? Yeah. Huh. Okay, that's pretty weird. But why? Yeah. We're off to see the wizard who's like God, but he's a fake God. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz is a fake God. Well, it was just a man behind a curtain, yeah. and he was just a magician right? who found his way in, 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 you know, the Emerald City, and... He just found a way how to, I guess, manipulate. <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't sound very good. Wizard of Oz is the government. Oh. <laughs> that, that's it. That's it. It's the black hand of the government that does all the bad stuff in the background. Nobody is the wiser. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. <laughs> we need a metal version of that song. Really? Get to know, yeah. <laughs> Get to know, yeah! <laughs> I don't know what. Get to know all about you. <laughs> I can't we need that. I have seen The Wizard of Oz a thousand times, too. I bet you know exactly where the dude, like, hung himself in the movie. It's awful. What? It's right before, it's right when they're skipping into the woods, right before the lion, they meet the cowardly lion, there's a dude that actually hung himself in the movie. Oh. Oh. And you see it. Wow. In the movie. What movie is this again? Wizard of Oz. That's the truth? See, that's evil shit, man. That's not good. Right? That is not innocent child stuff. No, there's some darkness. There is some darkness to, like, the making of The Wizard of Oz. I guess there is. Mm-hmm. We need to see the sequel of that, that Mike Matei says is, like, really awesome. Return to Oz, I think it's called. Or, if we ever get to New York City, yeah. we could go see Wicked. Uh, it's a Broadway play. Oh, my God. I don't know. Oh, please. I've always wanted to go to a play on Broadway. No, yeah, but why does it have to be wicked? What about Cats? Okay, I would do that. Yes. I would definitely do Cats, yeah, because I've never seen it. We yeah. are part of the Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild. And in the name of the Lollipop Guild. We welcome you to Munchkin Land. <laughs> flip. <laughs> My mom, she had like this like gift where she literally could recite verbatim the whole movie. Is that right? Yeah. It's pretty impressive. It is pretty impressive. I think I'm close to being able to do that with, like, Alien. Yeah. And, uh... We watched Fern Gully the other day, and I am i haven't seen that movie since I was, like, eight, right? Eight, ten, something like that. A long freaking time. And I still remember the lines and the songs. That's and I was amazing. Like... That's really amazing, actually. <laughs> That's crazy. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Cats isn't on Broadway anymore? Oh no! Oh, that's too bad. 
<laughs> no, I want to see Fiddler on the Roof for the producers. Rent is really good. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard. I would. Oh, I've always loved to hear Rent because they play on the drums. Yeah. Or not the drums, but the garbage cans. Yeah, garbage can drums. Yeah. That's always cool. Yeah. Yes, Fern Gully. And, and Jason loved it. Because Robin Williams is in that movie, and he's just fantastic uh, in that well, movie. Well, I don't know if I'd say I loved it. I It was it was very watchable. And then you have uh, uh, Tim um, Tim Curry, Tim Curry yeah, playing the awesome. sludge. That song was awesome he did. He was very much Frank, Frankenfurter in that song. Yeah, we could do Phantom of Opera on Broadway. There you go. That would be great. Oh. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Definitely. That's a good story. <laughs> Hi, Patty Patty. You can recite all of Armageddon. Oh. <laughs> I can recite a lot of it. And I'm working on um, The Big Lebowski and reciting all uh, of that. Absolutely. We'll, Have to. We'll be close to close in that one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. Krista, the fairy name in Ferngully is Krista. Correct. Mm. And I love when the flowers follow her. I'm like, ah, oh, I want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I just wish I could be that type of person where just flowers just follow me wherever I walk. Just, just a track of it. That would be awesome. Yes, I create flowers. Be pretty amazing. Oh my God, I love Jared Butler as the Phantom. He's great in it. That's a great movie. That Gerard one. Butler? Yeah. As what? The, the Phantom? The Phantom in The Phantom of Opera. Oh, Gerard Butler played him? Mm hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah, I could see him doing that good. Right? Yeah, he's a great actor. He's like always, the, like, he's kind of a character actor. Yeah. But not really, because he, no. he does do method acting too. He does both. Hi, Pippi wants stuck. Machine gun creature. They're like, ha, ah, Shannon doesn't say her ING. Leave me alone. Armageddon was unfairly underrated. I absolutely love that movie. It's a great movie. I think I think Water uh Waterworld was very underrated, and I think people need to give it a chance and watch it again. And realize that it's actually a really good movie, especially to today's standards. Oh, yeah. It's sad, though, because it was a complete flop. It just, I mean, like, it made none of the money back. <laughs> and, 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 and it was a huge amount of money they spent on that, on that film. Right? A massive, I think it was like $200 million movie or something, and they, they made only like $50 million at the box office. So it's like, that's a catastrophe. That is. That is an absolute disaster. And that's why, I think that's why Kevin Costner kind of, it's like, that guy from that movie that they spent $200 million and made 50 back on? No. We don't want you in our movie anymore. We don't see ya. You know who I want to see in more movies? My cousin, Tim McGraw. Oh my God, he's a great actor. He, yeah. Oh man, what was it? 1883? Yeah. 1883 on Paramount. It's such a good show. Mm-hmm. It's so, it's like, it reminds me of Doc, Dr. Quinn in a way. Um. Ah. Uh, no, it's not as child-oriented. Water, oh my god, Crash Cooter Coo. Waterworld is one of the best movies ever. I have the audiobook too. Oh, oh my god. Know. See? See? Absolutely. Yeah. It's great. Dennis Hopper is amazing. He's so good in it. I know. I love Dennis Hopper. They should make a Waterworld 2. Waterworld was great. Yeah. Kevin Costner can be an old grumpy man and he comes back to the island. No, he's got to be old and he's got to grow his hair like to like past his shoulders and have a big mullet, huge beard. Have I seen the trailer for the new Little Mermaid movie? Oh. No. But I want to see it because her voice is so pretty. I've heard her music when I found out. Um. 
Mood killer. Can I have a good time without you being a narcissist and trying to make it about you? Thank you. <sighs> you know that time when Jesus was on the boat and he was like, how long am I going to be with this cursed generation? I feel that way a lot of the time. <laughs> he was only here for 33 years too I, mean. I know he got lucky <laughs> he literally was spe he spent he was like 33 years is all I can take of you people I'm, I'm done <laughs> and he was like I'm going to heaven scoot a doot to doot to boop and, and Jesus and takes he's, off. Yeah, he's like, yeah, and he's like, your report card to my own people, holy, your report card <laughs> is zero. You have nothing. I found more faith in the Romans than you. <laughs> the Romans had more faith than the Jews. Wow. That's real bad. Maybe that's why God gave gave the Catholic Church over to to Christians the way he did let the pagans reign because they believed in him yeah well that is what happened yeah the last became first yeah he flipped the whole system on its head because he said you guys are blind and deaf to the spirit mm -hmm. the ones that really were in the leadership they were completely besides like two right Nicodemus and Nicodemus. Well, they were all uh, about the power and the ambiance and yeah. the look at me, I'm so holy. The fancy outfit. <laughs> with, the, with the castle. Jesus comes along and he's like, dude, I'm not good. None of us are good. You think we're good? We're crap. Mm -hmm. Great up. While the Pharisees, the supposed religious leaders are like, look at us. Yeah, our father's Moses. Who's your dad? That's what they said to him. The most high. <laughs> no, he didn't even say that. He said nothing. <laughs> he, okay, he, he regarded them so little that, like, serious responses he didn't even really care about. But he gave them actual responses. But he didn't really care to. <laughs> you guys are dead. You're gone. You're, you're so severed from the spirit and, and you're all about the opulence and the power that you're completely cut off from dad's voice. That you can't even hear my dad anymore. That's how bad they were. Mm -hmm. And they, he, they were warned in the prophets that if they were in pagan tree or sold out to some other god, he would come in an hour they didn't know it. Yep. And that's what happened. Yep. This is weird. What's weird? It's Easter Sunday. We're talking about the Messiah. <laughs> it is his day, you know. I love talking about Jesus. It's good to talk about Jesus. It brings good spirits and, and all of that stuff. Amen. Because he was all about love. If you believed he was the son of God or not, that's whatever. He was all about love, dude. He was. Did Jesus not say before Abraham I am? That's right. Correct. Before Abraham was I am. That's part of the reason they killed him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, did he just say? What did he just say? To them, to the Pharisee, you cannot speak like that. And they're going to offer you up to the court if you keep talking like that. And they did. So am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? Exactly. They should have crowned him king immediately. 
Yeah, they didn't, though. It wasn't, no, because if they didn't make his sacrifice, then we couldn't even speak of him. We, we'd have no place in, in his kingdom. Sure. They'd all be Jews. Sure. <laughs> they would be our kings. They would. So, he opened that door. Mm-hmm. And thank him for it. Amen. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm getting off this thing. You done already? Yep. It's been 40 minutes. That's not bad. No. My back is killing me. Pray for me. Yes. I need pain relief. Bad. Anyway. I love you guys. Peace and Maranatha. You guys have a good one. Hey. Enjoy your Easter.